everyone, you are welcome to the online tutorial class. For this our tutorial class, we'll be learning how to draft and sew cow kimono jacket. I'll be working with three yards of fabric and I've folded my fabric into four. As you can see, this is one, two, one, two. So at the end of the cutting, I'm going to slip this into two. This is the center of our front and back panel. You can see there will be no cutting at the center. The length of the jacket I'm working with is 36 inches. You can make your own lower than that and you can make your own longer than that. And the hip circumference I'm working with is 37. The shoulder I'm working with is 14. And the sleeve length, that is the length of my sleeve, is going to be 22. Now in this sleeve length, I'm going to attach a cuff. And the length of the cuff I am using is 4 inches. So I'm going to subtract the 4 inches from the sleeve length. And I will be left with sleeve length of 18. So when I'm cutting, when I'm drafting my jacket, I'm going to use the sleeve length of 18. My wrist circumference is 9 inches. This is how to measure the wrist band. My normal wrist band is 7 inches. But because I want it to be very loose, I added extra 2 inches and that is 9 inches. So, from the center here, we are going to measure our shoulder. And the shoulder we are working with is 14. We divide the shoulder by 2, that is equal to 7. From here, you measure our 7 inches and we mark. Then from this 7 inches mark, we are going to measure our sleeve length. Don't forget that the sleeve length I will be drafting is 18. So from this 7 inches mark, I am going to measure my 18 inches exactly at the edge of the fabric and I mark. So from this my 18 inches mark, I am going to come down by 2 inches. So from here, I measure my 2 inches and I mark. So from the 7 inches mark, I connect it to the 2 inches and that will serve as my shoulder slope. So after making my slope, I will come to my wrist band. Don't forget that the wrist measurement I'm working with is 9 inches. I want to make a little bit of pleat at the edge of my sleeve before attaching my cuff. We divide the 9 by 2. What we have is 4.5. So instead of me measuring 0.45 here, I'm, I'm going to make it of 6 inches. So from the 2 inches mark, I will be measuring 6 inches. So that will serve as my wrist opening, that is my sleeve band. Now I want to measure the length of my jacket. And the length of the jacket I'm working with is 36 inches. I'm going to add extra 2 inches for folding it at the end. So from here, I measure my 36 inches plus 2, that is 38, and I mark. After connecting the lines together, I want to mark my hip measurement and the if measurement i'm working with for this tutorial is 37 minus 2 reason being that this my jacket is going to get a bit to my new and if you look at the woman we if you look at the female body from the hip is a bit sloppy so that's why i'm subtracting two inches for my if measurement but i don't want my own to be too fitted at the new line that's why i'm going to subtract two inches the hip circumference we are working with is 37, 37 minus 2, that is 35, 35 divided by 2, that is 8.75, I'll be rounding it up to 9. Now, I'm going to add extra half inch for seam allowance, so I'll be marking 9.5, so for me, I mark my 9.5. So from this 9.5 mark, I'm going to make a curve to our wrist band, and it's so easy. Just watch the way I'm going to make my own cuff. So from my wrist band, that is from this edge. Don't forget that the wrist band I am working with on this fabric is 6 inches. So from this mark, this is the 6 inches. So from here, I'm going to make a cuff to the 9.5 inches mark. So from here, I'm going to make a cuff. Just the way I'm doing mine is very, very easy. Just take your time and do it gently 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 to the 9.5 inches mark so i've made my curve can you see it? when i cut it out we see the shape better
I've cut out the soda slope. I've also opened up the wristband and I've also cut out the side of our kimono. So I'm going to remove it now. You are going to see that we have two pieces that is one for the back and one for the front. Before I remove it, I'm going to come to the center of my jacket, mark three inches for my neck width. Mark three inches. After marking the three inches, I want my, I don't really want opening in front of my kimono. So I'm going to come down by half inch and when I'm going to cut it. That will be my neck width, both for the front and for the back. Then after cutting this, you are going to slice it to the shoulder slope. So you can see the way it's looking like so I'm going to remove it now so I have two pieces one for the back and one for the front so I'm going to take one now and use it as my front panel I want to open up my front panel and at the center I am going to split it open all the way down to the length of my jacket So I have slit open my front panel. So I have two pieces for the front panel now. So after slitting my front panel open this way, I want to make a bit of curve at the end of my jacket in front. From here, I'm going to come up by two inches. So from these two inches, I mark. And I make a curve from this in two inches mark to the edge of my kimono. That's the way I make my own curve. Just a small curve at the edge. So this is my curve and let me cut this is the way the end line of my front panel is going to look like a bit of curve in front so now we are going to drive the curve this is the pieces i want to use for my curve the curve circumference we are working with is the same as our wrist band and the wrist band is nine inches and the length of our curve is four inches so i'm going to take my pieces fold it into two this way and I am folding it into two because I want to double my curve. That's why I'm folding it into two. So after folding it into two this way, I know what I have. So this is 4.5. So I'm going to sew it in by half inch, remaining four, which is the length of our curve. So after folding it in by 4.5 this way, I am going to fold it into another two this way. So from here, and I'm folding it into another two this way using my this band. My this band is 9, 9 divided by 2, that is 4.5. This place will be at the lower part of my curve, while this place is where I will join with the sleeve. So, since I'll be joining this place with the, uh, to the sleeve, I would like to add extra 1 inch. So, for, so, that would be 10 inches. So, from here, I'll measure 10 divided by 2, that is 5. 5 plus half inch, that is 5.5. I mark my 5.5. Now, on this other side, I'm going to measure exactly my this. Band. and the width band we are working with is 9, 9 divided by 2, that is 4.5, plus half inch for joining, that is 5, so I'm going to connect them together, I'm going to connect them together this way, and you see them, I will cut these out, so this is the way our cuff is looking like, this area where there is no journey will be at this edge, and this is the area I will be attaching to the sleeve. I'm going to knot the center. After knotting the center, I'm going to cut another piece exactly the way I cut this for the other sleeve. So now we are finished drafting our kimono. This is our cuff, two pieces, and this is the front panel. Remember, we slitted it, and this is the back panel.